Let's try this again. I've been interrupted twice now, so we'll hopefully third time is a charm. So today we will be taking notes on different types of maps and then how to read a map. So I want you to take out this sheet right here, the one I just gave you. Okay, and we're gonna start with the different types of maps. So if you look on your screen here, we're gonna put in a quick definition about why we would use that type of map. And then I want you to draw your own map, but I will Google search a map for you so you can take a look at that. So the first map we're gonna take a look at here is um, road maps. And if any of you have used Google Maps, you will know that um, those are basically road maps. So we use them to find our way around certain around a certain area, missed a word here, using roads, highways, and other streets. Okay, so let's quick Google search a map. So Google and images. There's my face. Okay. Road map. And I'll go to images. So any street map street map that you see would be considered a road map. So you can um, draw your own picture of that. Um, our next kind of map is a political map. And a political map shows us borders. Right, spell right. It shows borders between um, states, counties, countries, etc. Um, so like this map behind me, here I'll bring myself here. This map right here, that's a political map. It tells us where the borders are between states. And that one is a political map of the world. Um, so you have a few different types of political maps there. Um, let's move on to our next one is a physical map. And a physical map shows the physical features of an area, including rivers, mountains, etc. Um, so let's take a look. Physical map images. So anywhere that you can see where there are mountains and rivers and plateaus, deserts, that kind of thing would be a physical map. And this one right here you can see is a combination between a physical map and a political map because it does show the borders. Uh, so let's go to our next one is a climate map. And a climate map is exactly how it sounds. It shows the typical weather patterns over a given year in a certain area we don't use climate in the actual definition like I did with physical. So a climate map, let's take a look at that. Looks like this. So if you pull this up, you can see that there are different climates all over the world. All right, next one is a natural resources map. There we go. And a natural resources map shows where deposits of minerals or other natural resources can be found. So let's take a look at a natural resources map. And let's take a look at this of Africa so you can see where the oil products, gas products, all those kinds of things are located within Africa. So that would be a natural resources map. Let's go back to our last one, which is a, do you know what? I'm gonna have you cross this one off. Um, most people wouldn't use a topographical map, so we're gonna change it to a population density map, because this is something that we will actually use this year. So, let's change that. A population density map shows where um, people, are located. So let's take a look at a population density map. There we go. And let's take this one. This one's kind of cool. Um, so you can see where most people in the world, the, the darker the shading is, the more people that live there. So um, let's, our people are located per square mile or kilometer makes more sense. Okay, 
so now we have our different types of maps. I want you to go through and um, draw a picture of what each type of those of those maps would look like. Um, you can do that. You can pause this now and do that, or you can go back and do it later. But I am going to move on to totals here. Um, totals is an acronym that we use for the different parts of a map. So um, our first one, T, stands for title. Uh, and I'll have you write in there title. Um, and on this map, I put the same map on here. I want you to circle or highlight the certain feature of the map. So T is for title, and the title of this map is just United States Outline Map. So you can go ahead and highlight or circle that right here. Okay. O stands for orientation, which means where are the directions, north, south, east, or west. Most times, the orientation will look like this. Um, it'll have a compass rose where it shows you the cardinal directions, which are north, south, east, and west, and then you have the intermediate directions, northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. Um, but the map that you have on your paper here, you can't really see it because I had to shrink it down, but right here is a little arrow, and it actually is pointing up for north. So north is here, south, east, and west. If you don't like how that looks, you can draw a compass rose on the map um, where you want it to be. Okay, D in total stands for date. And on this map, the date is right down here in the corner. I can make this bigger so you can see it. There we go. So the date is right down here. It says updated on 26th December 2014. So you can go ahead and circle or highlight the date on that. Our next letter here is A for author. And on this map, the author would be mapsofworld.com. Sometimes it has a person's name, but in this case, it has a website. Um, let's move to L, which is a legend. Okay, this map does not have a legend because it's just a blank outline map. So what I want you to do in your L space is to draw, a, create your own map. You can have show it whatever you want on your map and then just make a legend in the corner. The legend is sometimes also called a key um, so you can see what on the map, what everything means on the map. All right, our next one is the first S and it stands for scale. In this map you can find our scale is right here. It tells you um, you know how many inches or centimeters equal a mile or a kilometer. And our last one here is source. The last S stands for source, S-O-U-R-C-E. And here it just tells you where it came from. And in this case, our source will be the same as the author, which is mapsofworld.com. Um, this, knowing the source can tell you if it's a credible map or something that someone just totally made up. So um, totals, title, orientation, date, author, legend, scale, source. There you have it. If you haven't gone back to um, the different types of maps to draw in each type, you can go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, I will talk to you later.